So, you know, something I've never really been doing, which I should start, is ask folks to hit the subscribe button. Um, so I'm up to about 100 videos now, and essentially what I'm trying to do is go over pain in the neck problems that aren't really talked about so much on YouTube and try to create some sort of benefit for folks that work on unique and different types of equipment and trucks and hydraulics and electrical and that sort of thing. So little by little, I'm adding things to my YouTube channel that are different. Like, I won't ever put a brake job that folks have seen a thousand of on the channel. But this particular video, we've got a customer whose hydraulic fitting for a five, 6,000 PSI system the fitting keeps blowing out. They're losing at least 100 gallons worth of hydraulic fluid they've lost. And uh, they've attempted three, four times to retap it and reconnect the fitting. And it won't, it won't cooperate. So they'll call me. And that's what you're saying now. I sort of failed to mention in the video that um, the reason I'm doing all this drilling and stuff is because the original fitting won't stay put. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, uh, so this isn't CGI. I'm standing way up high, putting myself in harm's way to make this video. But I do think this is probably, without being too dramatic, the most important video I have made. So what is it I'm about to say that's so important? So this hose is rated at 6,000 PSI. It's not uncommon. I mean, more often I'll see hoses between three and 4,000 PSI single braid. This is a double braid. But what that means is this guy is working with a lot of pressure. Um, and there are folks that are standing right here in the grapple truck with their face right next to this damn thing while this thing is going at 6,000 PSI burst pressure, 24,000 PSI, so that right, right around 5,000 that this thing could come out. So what I'm about to say, folks are gonna yell at me, uh, but I mean, I've been doing this now for 30 years, so I feel like I'm allowed to break some rules. So right here is a three quarter inch drill bit. I've just drilled the whole thing out to three quarter inch. This guy is a seven eighths thread. Seven eighths thread requires a size of 13 sixteenths, which is this guy here. Not three quarter inch, which is one down, which is what's on the drill right now. I can't even see it. So that's the three quarter, and this is the 13 sixteenths. But the thing is like, I've got this German tap set for metric threads. I don't have one for domestics because they don't have any reason to make one in Germany. But each, each hole size comes with three different diameter taps, believe it or not. And they let you decide how snug you want to make it. And the thing is, you don't have that luxury within a, a US made tap set. You only have one size. And I, I, no way in hell am I going to drill out 13 sixteenths in this hole all the way. Just, I just know I'm not. I'm gonna do a little start with 13 sixteenths, but most of it's gonna be three quarter inch. And when I run that tap in there, it's going to be super snug, super tight. It could theoretically even break the tap if I'm not careful. So I'm going to go in a few turns with lots of good cutting oil. And then I'm going to back out. Um, I'm looking for the tap now. Oh, right here. I'm going to back out. So turn, turn in, back out, blow it out with compressed air, which is right here. Uh, more cutting oil, turn it in. I have a cloth already down there. I pulled it out, I blew out all the shavings, and then I pulled out the cloth. Uh, but I'm gonna put a clean cloth again down there. But essentially, um, it's gonna transition into three quarter, uh, and it's gonna be hard 
to get this tap in with a three quarter versus 13 sixteenths. But when I'm done, this fitting is going to be rock solid. No matter what kind of imperfections are made from the tap, it's gonna be rock solid. There's no way I'm going to put the guy's life in harm's way from a hose blowing out. There's plenty of other ways roughnecks working on the railroad could hurt themselves, but it won't be from my work. But that's the thing, there's no recipe list for this. You just know from doing 10,000 drill holes and 10,000 taps that it's too loose when you're done and you need it to be snug. And you don't have that option like you would with that German tap set. So you gotta sort of be creative, break a few rules, and then yell that get yelled at by all the machinists on YouTube. Uh, okay, thank you. Sorry that this is so long.